Ntlegisa ni be Mikali mm. Hey, Of course, it was the roast, you know, and I had done the roast before. I hadn't done the roast in so many years and I was refusing because I was like, mm, maybe not, because I did the roast with Jeff Ross for BET back home and they killed me. And because I didn't understand the mechanics of the roast. And South Africa, the roast worked very well because we are very vocal. There's nothing we don't say, there's nothing we don't joke about. There's Literally almost everything goes with us. Oh, what's up, Kenya? I've arrived, yes, to here to make you laugh with every other comedian tonight. Please come through. I'm with the Purple Media. Superstar International, Queen of uh, Comedy Africa, mm -hmm. if I'm wrong, Celestine Tule, uh -oh, Karibu no. Nairobi. Ah, Jambo, is that what you say, right? Yes, yes. Ah, thank you, thank you for the welcome. Although it was a surprise, next time I'll put on the lashes and stuff. But otherwise, Kenya, I'm here. I can't wait for the show tonight. I'm also as excited. Uh, of course I've done Uganda, Rwanda. I think East Africa has got the vibe that I really am starting to enjoy. Okay. So yeah, hopefully there'll be something that I will come back for for a holiday as well, not just because I'll stay a couple of days and enjoy the country. So maybe what was your flight? The flight was nice, short, it's not as long. Um, and of course, yeah, I, I just slept. I can't say much, I slept on flights. <laughs> That's okay. the thing about me, as soon as it takes off, I'm out. All right. Is this your first time in Kenya? Yeah, this is my first time in Kenya. And this is my first time doing a Churchill show. This is my first time everything. So I am excited. And, and I'm, yeah, I'm happy that there are people who watch my shows and, you know, enjoy my my comedy from all the way from Kenya. I'm, I'm very happy, you know. I, I got to spend beautiful time with Kenyan actresses from Netflix, um, Kate um, from the Country Queen, Melvin and... You know, uh, Elusa, dope, dope, dope uh, artist. So I think definitely you guys got the vibe. What are your expectations in East Africa? Because you say uh, East African got vibes. What is your expectation? My expectation? Uh, nothing. I've realized that you mustn't expect anything. I'm open to whatever. Uh, but I, I think there's a lot of like discipline and a lot of focus from you guys. I like how you do things. You're very like this. It's not happening when you're in South Africa, like, hey, you came through, okay, somebody's <laughs> gonna pick you up. But this is amazing, and uh, you, you take your work seriously, and I love the, you know, the direction of the comedy itself and art itself. Because I think that's the only way as Africans we're gonna be able to understand and know each other is when we interact and we, you know, we exchange culture and, you know, art and laughter, of course. Talking about culture, and um, you, you've mentioned from one of your posts, you say it's time for African to tell our story. We've oh, seen yeah. it, we've seen, we've seen you've done it in, in your shows. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It, I think it is, we have to really own our narrative on everything that we do, because we sell the culture regardless, whether we are part of the transaction or not. So to be pioneering our own thing is also the most amazing thing that we can do for ourselves, because then we understand who we are, and the culture is ours. We need to monetize it. Okay. You sold out uh, in London. Yeah. So talk to us about that. How did it make you feel as an African who is selling out out there internationally? Uh, yeah, my show in London was amazing because it just automatically became a Pan-Africanist show without even me, and you know, planning for it. It was just going to be me and Tenjiro, who's a South African comedian based in UK, and I got to have a um, Zimbabwean comedian Queen Kandoro to host me. Jacinta, Ghanaian comedian, to come and you know open for us. So, at the end of the day, in the audience, I was filled with all the people from different countries in the diaspora, and I think that was amazing to experience. Um, so I didn't actually get to experience just the the audience from UK, and it was at Leicester Square, so it was not just in some dingy, you know. Uh, place or whatever it was a proper theater in a setup in a setting where everyone goes you know I, it, 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 we have a huge potential than what we, we lead on yeah, yeah. the roast uh, the roast that you did on can you see there how you went so hard on those girls and uh, you you told them that uh, uh, you are the real madrid and they are the bafana bafana talk to us much about that Okay, of course it was the roast, you know, and I had done the roast before. I hadn't done the roast in so many years and I was refusing because I was like, mm, maybe not, because I did the roast with Jeff Ross for BET back home and they killed me. And because I didn't understand the mechanics of the roast. And South Africa, the roast worked very well because we are very vocal. There's nothing we don't say, there's nothing we don't joke about. There's 
literally almost everything goes with us. So, uh, which is dope then for a, co for a, a roast context. Um, obviously, I like Kanyibao, don't get it out. <laughs> We're cool. Uh, it was for the roast. And of course, I knew that uh, that line was going to sell um, as a punchline. So, I, really, the roast, I enjoyed it so much. And don't worry, we love each other there. <laughs> it was just the roast. Okay, maybe you can share with us the experience. You mentioned you've been on the set with uh, Kate Actress and Mel yeah. Melvin Alusa, maybe. No, no, not on the set. We are together doing the Netflix um, appreciation for all artists that are on their shows in the continent. So it was not just only us. There were also co actors from um, Nigeria, Osas and, Dan and Daniel and, and, and um, Kunle. So we had so many actors that had shows in Netflix that they put together and we had like a getaway weekend thing and we got to, you know, get to know each other. Because sometimes that's what happens with music. Artists know each other now. With acting and comedy, I think we need to just to get start to get more integration and understanding who is who in the zoo. Because sometimes people do come to the country, but you don't know them and you don't know their work. You also talked about uh, weight loss and how, how is it going so far? <laughs> well, of course, I, I'm not running like a Kenyan. <laughs> well, it's a... Hey, I've always been big in my life. It's a work in progress constantly, all the time. But I'm advocate for healthy. I know I might look big, but I still want to be healthy. So that's why I, I never stop trying. Yeah. Okay, maybe just to summarize additional two questions. One, uh, are you looking forward maybe to join... Um, acting film industry in Kenya because we have uh, dope movies, we have dope series, well, we have multi-talented actors and actresses in Kenya. Of course, I wouldn't say no. Uh, that's the whole point and I wish we get to that point where we have one production with different actors from different countries and see how that goes because that might give you a perspective of where we are differently because we're moving in a different direction but we are moving to a, we're moving in different ways but to the same direction. So. If we can get to be together and understand how we can make those production work, that would be dope. Okay, talking about Love and Festival, it's a big show in East Africa and Africa. Mm. Maybe you can just mention your expectation to your fans, talk to your Kenyan fans, South Africans living in Kenya. Oh, yeah, I'm expecting everything dope. I saw the clips. I think the show is crazy. I don't know. The numbers, wow. I, I was blown away when I saw the video, the clip, and saw how many people attend the show. And I know it's big. Salvador has told me about it. Um, you know, I was in Rwanda and Arthur spoke about the show. So I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, so all my Kenyan friends, uh, you're going to laugh. Definitely. I'm just going to join the laughter and also make you, you know, laugh some more. All right. We have um, amazing... Uh comedy special, uh, multi-talented uh, startup comedians. I don't know if you're looking forward to meet them, the likes of President of Comedy Africa, Eric Omondi and the rest. Oh, oh yeah. Um, uh, comedy is the same everywhere when it comes to that. I love that about comedians. We don't even struggle to meet and communicate and have a great time. I know as soon as we are all together backstage, it's a go. That I know. Right, talk to your fans in uh, in Zulu. Invite them to. The <laughs> show. I don't know if you guys know Zulu, but it was angry shows on Tlegisa. Ni be me calling embers. That's all I'll tell you now. All right, thank Get you thanks. so much for your time. I wish you all the best. Thank you. We have fun. Thank you. Welcome. Hey guys, my name is Gucci, and this is Purple Sam Media. Hey guys, my name is Gloria Kalo from Kalo Culture. I'm here chilling with Purple Sam Media. What's up, what's up? I go by El Shaco, aka Shaco, younger sponsor. My name is Masi Kalo. Malik Lem here, aka Govi. No Kincheki, Kincheki can be doing a purple. Atakani white, Atakani black, Johnny Purple Sam. I'll see you. Make sure you subscribe to Purple Sam Entertainer, obviously. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. What do you want to man? What are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe to my nigga. Purple Sam is the day, bro. Purple is my favorite color, so you guys better enjoy this video first of all. Like it, comment, share, and subscribe. Love yous. This your high speedometer. Boy, you go kill person now. Take it slow. Lo, 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 lo. Yo, my people, my fans, make sure you subscribe to his channel, Purple Sam Entertainer. Yo, you don't know. You know what? Let's raise our standards. Let's get treated like queens. You know what? This is Purple Sam Media, and you can't have enough of me. Now, can you camera? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.